What up YouTube, it's Cool Ninja Guy here. Today I'm bringing you guys a very, very basic and quick tutorial on how to make markers and how to use them effectively in After Effects. I've got multiple um, comments on different tutorials on how I do my markers and how I snap right to them. So I'll show you. So first of all, you're going to need a composition. I just have the song that I use in a Kazi's or Koi's comeback. Uh, make a new comp with that. I'm just going to pull up the um, audio waveform. Wait for that to load up. Hopefully it works. It might not. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to zoom in. And let's just say, let's find the uh, drop. Which is about here. One sec. I will be right back. Alright, I'm back, even though you don't even notice anything. I was on for about five minutes. But uh, anyway, I'm taking this song, and basically, here's where it drops. So, what I do with my songs is I find the drop of the song right there. And so if I play it through, it's a drop. So what I do is hold shift and hit one. It makes the one marker. And um, what you can also, another way you can do that, if I just delete this marker, uh, grab this right here, right above your scrolling thing, and just drag it over. And you can pull whatever you want, but hold shift and it'll snap right to your marker. So hold shift, snap it right on there, and you're good. So now there's your one marker. Um, if you want, I prefer that first method uh, for the first 10 markers I do. So say if I'm previewing something, it drops here, but I want to go back like 5 seconds. I'm just going to go over here, and I'm going to hold shift and hit 0. So shift 0 is my beginning marker. 1 is the drop, and usually I sync gunshots to the 1 marker, 2 marker, you know, etc. 1 through, say, anywhere up to 30. Uh, it depends on how many gunshots are there. So I'm going to go to 1, and you'll see the song is a pretty defined beat. So if I play it through kick right there, so I'm going to hold shift 2, and play it through again, kick there, shift 3, basically, continue this process for how many shots you need, so, let's see, shift 5, there we go, so now I have these markers, and what to do to snap between them is just hit the button, so if I want to go to my 0 marker, press 0 on your keyboard, want to go to the 1 marker, press 1 on your keyboard. Um, I do that along the top row of my numbers since I'm on a laptop that does not have a side keyboard. I'm pretty sure it still works for that, like the extra numpad. Uh, if you want to press you know, the buttons on there and try it out, I'm not sure if it works, but I know for sure that if you make these markers, just hit 0, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it shifts, shifts right to your markers. And, you know, this is how I do markers in all my edits and After Effects. And when you get past 9, see, you can only make certain amounts. So, shift 6, I'm just going to make some, for example. Yeah, let's go. Shift 7. Oh, dang it, I did shift 6 again. Shift 7. Shift 8. And then shift 9. So, now, I can't obviously do a shift 10. So, what you do is just drag another marker over. 10, 11, 12, blah, blah, blah. Um, that's the way how to do numbered markers. If you want to do markers any other way, what you can do is click either on a layer and do a marker. I just like to have it on top of the whole timeline. So go to layer, add marker, and then you can uh, double click that layer and type in, say, boobs. If you want to name it boobs, you can name the marker boobs. There you go. So um, that's how you can uh, make markers in After Effects. It's very efficient. Uh, it'll make your workflow work a lot faster, just snapping between, pressing the numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Sometimes I'm doing a little intro, just set to 0 at the beginning and 9 at the end. And so you can, you know, if you want to preview it, just hit the 1 marker and then preview your whole um, preview your whole edit or intro or whatever. So uh, that's it for markers, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed, please hit the like button below, subscribe button at the top. Helps me out a ton. I also help, uh, I hope this helps you out as well in your edits in After Effects. So thank you guys, and see you later.